Hey guys, uh, so during the latest Clash of Clans challenge, uh, the Goblin Maze, I looked around on YouTube and I saw that there weren't actually a lot of good videos showing how to get a good time. Uh, most of them had bad clickbait and uh, when I clicked on them, their times were like 57, 51 minute maybe. I think the best I saw was one minute and one second, which is really bad. So I figured, you know, even though the event is over, I'd show how the people on the leaderboard got the scores that they did. Now, I did make the leaderboard uh, multiple times, which you'll see later in the video. Uh, and I got a 1-5, uh, the best uh, in the world uh, at the end of the challenge was a 1-7, which is insane, uh, mostly because of the amount of luck you'd need. Now, the first clips you saw, uh, they might have been boring, kind of spammy, what you're looking at right now, missed the end battle button, uh, whoops, but uh, that's really how it was, you just had to sit there for a really, really, really long time, trust me, I sat there for a long time, <laughs> really boring, and uh, you had to hope you got good RNG, because most of the maze is actually very RNG based, from how the bombs explode, to where your goblin places himself to if he walks right out of the invis like he did right there even though it kind of failed it looks like yeah well anyways you just have to keep pressing keep pressing kind of annoying here you're gonna see uh one of the good runs i got i think i got like six one five runs which is pretty good uh but they're very rare if you sat there for like two hours you maybe get like one or two uh, good runs that had the potential of getting it, but most of the time you'd be stopped by the tornado trap, for example, or by any of the other traps, which uh, is very frustrating indeed. Here you see me getting past the tornado, really nice, especially when he hits it at 29. Gotta love that. Uh, but even though this space is great, uh, you might be surprised to know that it's actually still behind a little, I think. Uh, one of my friends was at the collector at uh, 30 seconds, which means I'm like half a second to a second behind. Uh, you see me get the good CC bomb, which means it did not explode on me. Here on the tunnel, I get the bad bomb, but that's not really a problem because it happens like 99% of the time. So, no worries there, expected. Uh, tunnel usually takes a while, pretty annoying actually, you gotta sit there for like 20 seconds and wait. Uh, and you'll see I end up getting it at 40. That's really good. Uh, and then I get the bad uh, collector bomb Boosting me away from the path I'm gonna take uh, Later I'll show uh, an example of a good one. Well, not that good, but yeah and If you look at the time, it's pretty good at that collector 2019 ish and usually it's like 18 so that's ahead of most runs still a little behind uh that's why i got a 1.5 but that doesn't really matter and right there a 1.5 actually pretty close to a 1.6 so you know almost there i was uh pretty sad about that actually uh here you're gonna see a bad cc bomb you see the goblin got hit and this is an example of a decent uh bomb on the collector here you're gonna see me on the leaderboard. That's the first time. That's the second time. Different accounts. I'm on fifth place. If you can't see that. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you learned how maybe the pros did it. I'm not actually sure that's how I did it. Would honestly love to uh, see how Rikiris did it. If he did something different, that would be very interesting. Uh, although I don't know what that would be. Uh, yeah, hope you learned something and uh, see you later.